first of all i want to say that i am extremely thankful to you for regularly guiding me in the right path however one thing that is really difficult is that i don't know how can muslims have fun in this world i have listened to lectures from various scholars and they all say that listening to music watching tv shows and movies they are all haram movies and music are so common today that it is hard to resist and moreover what can one do to pass time or have fun the brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music watching movies and most of the television programs they are haram so how can we have fun let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in islam as long as the fun is halal fun you should not do anything which is against the sharia which breaks the rules of sharia and there are thousands of halal funds available and i do agree with you that nowadays it is very common that most of the human beings they listen to music and they watch movies and even in the social media the most popular social media channels are related with music and movies if you go to the youtube which has more than 1 billion followers the most popular channel is t series it's a film song channel there are songs ranging from 2 minutes 3 minutes 4 minutes 5 minutes and that is the most popular youtube channel having more than 150 million subscribers and if you go and check the views they have got is more than 125 billion views imagine 125 billion views and the most popular song while doing survey is more than 963 million views can you believe the most popular song is close to a billion views in the span of 2 years that means every day more than a million people are watching that same song imagine this is because of the popularity that we have today and i do agree with you it's very common that for entertainment people listen to music they see movies so this is a mixture of music and movie film songs that is the reason it is the most popular the point to be noted is that we ourselves decide what is entertainment for us it is we decide what we like and what we don't like let me give a simple example every human being has his own variety of taste for food and many a times he may not like the food that is eaten by the other society for example in india the people of north india may not like the food of the people of south india because they are not used to it or people in india may not like the food of the people of some other western country the thing is depending upon what you are used to it if your tongue is used to a particular taste you start liking it like for example one of the most favorite fruit in malaysia it is durian it is a delicacy but to non malaysian most of the non malaysian they cannot have durian i tasted it twice unless you have it very often and start developing a taste for it so this is how you get used to it so main thing is that because of our society most of us most of the human being they are used to listening to music used to watch movie that is the reason we start getting entertained by it but from the beginning if you train the children not to be addicted to music or not to watch movies i'm sure of it they'll not like it and the best example i can give you of my children my children never watch movies they never watch films of bollywood or hollywood they never watch they don't listen to music because from the childhood we never made them hear music we saw it that they never saw movies so today even if someone sends them the best song they will not listen to it 
So depending upon how you train your children and what you like or what you don't like. For them, listening to Islamic lectures and entertainment, even for me, when I watch Sheikh Ahmed Didat, even though I may have seen that video or that debate several times, the moment I hear, I enjoy it. It's entertainment for me. When I watch the lectures of Dr. Isar Ahmed, the way he speaks, the oratory power, Alhamdulillah, it's entertaining for me. I feel bad that because of my busy schedule, I cannot watch them as often as I used to watch them earlier. So depending upon what you make entertainment for you, if you make watching Islamic lectures entertainment, that is very entertaining. Instead of listening to music, my children, they love listening to Khirat. And whenever they find a new Qari with a beautiful voice and a recitation, they send on the family group. So for us, entertaining is the Khirat of the beautiful Qaris. And there are various hundreds of Qaris, thousands of beautiful Qaris, mashallah. The voice is melodious. So depending upon how you train yourself and how do you make what is good for you, what is entertaining for you, what is not entertaining for you. So let me tell you, it is, if you train your children from the childhood and see to it that you keep them away from these haram things, music, the movies, Bollywood, Hollywood, inshallah, life would be much better. The problem is that we get so much involved in the society and start agreeing with the wrong thing that the society promotes, the fault is in us. And today, Alhamdulillah, you have options on the social media, good and bad. You have many channels of Islamic speakers, mashallah, of the Da'is, and they themselves have got, mashallah, millions of subscribers and millions of views. Same thing with the Facebook, same thing with the uh, YouTube channel. There are there are satellite channels, you can go and watch Peace TV, we have Peace TV in four languages, English, Urdu, Bangla, Chinese, all this is entertainment. If you develop a liking for this, you will enjoy it. Coming to your question, that is Islam against fun? As long as the fun is not haram, Islam is for it. It encourages having fun, but you see to it that it doesn't break any of the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the saints of the Prophet Muhammad. And I believe that mashallah, I have taken part in many of the halal funds and activities. And same, same with the family. Mashallah, we have a policy in our family that you no know, when we used to live in Bombay, India, we had a policy every year, at least we used to go thrice in India outside Bombay and we used to see to it that we have to go thrice or three times outside India in a foreign country out of which once or twice used to be to Makkah and Medina and when we used to travel to this trip we used to enjoy and what we used to do many a time we used to club most of the time we used to club whenever I'm called for giving lectures Besides me giving lecture, even my wife gives lectures exclusively amongst the women. And my son, he joins me. And my daughters, they join my wife. So imagine all five of us are giving lecture in the same conference. My wife and my daughters giving exclusive lectures to the ladies. Me and my son giving to the gents. So many a time when we travel, I travel with the family. It's two in one. We have a dawa trip maybe giving lectures for about six, seven days. Then we extend the stay for about a couple of days and we enjoy ourselves. It's entertaining. Giving the lectures is entertaining. While giving dawah, we're entertaining. And after the dawah tour, we extend and we enjoy. Alhamdulillah, my children have been to maybe more than 25 countries in the world. Alhamdulillah. My wife may have traveled to about 40 countries in the world. And she has given lectures to most of these countries. My children have given lectures in most of the countries. MashaAllah, where they've traveled to. 
this is entertaining and when we go what my children like is they my son and my daughter they like thrill rides then when we have been to the european countries when we went to states many a times there is the seven flags which is known for the adventure rides and they enjoyed it we do water sports we have done bungee jumping my children my daughter i remember that when we had gone to seven flag there was bungee jumping of 450 feet height that is 45 story and my daughter was of the age of 7 at that time that was about 30 40 years back she said i want to do bungee jumping and i was sure that she wouldn't be allowed i said okay you go and ask uh, the person at the condo if you allow you can come i was shocked that they allowed her at the age of 7 i was scared she wasn't scared finally we went and we did bungee jumping me my son farik and my daughter rujda who was at the age of 7 at that time we jumped from 450 feet high of course i'm aware that it is very safe many people say oh it's so dangerous most of these thrill rides they are secure it is safe and alhamdulillah me my son and my daughter we have also done skydiving imagine jumping and one of the highest skydiving it's in dubai we jump from about 3 kilometers i think it is 13000 feet or 3000 feet something it is 2 or 3 kilometers it is the highest in the world for the public and alhamdulillah we jumped and we came down at a speed of more than 200 kilometers per hour imagine falling at the speed of more than 200 kilometers per hour it is exciting it is fun when we come close to the earth then we open the parachute so we have done water skiing it is fun i feel alhamdulillah i and my family have enjoyed a variety of fun and i can speak for us on it so islam is for fun as long as it is not against the sharia we should keep away from things which are wrong that is music that is alcohol drugs women these haram keep it away and believe me there is more halal fun and this fun that you do alhamdulillah it doesn't take you away from allah subhanahu wa taala it gets you closer to allah subhanahu wa taala so islam is not against fun it is only that we should see to it that few things which are haram which is against the quran and the sahih hadith that we should abstain from everything else is permissible we have a policy even in organization in bombay where we had more than 500 paid employees mashallah we had 500 full time paid employees every year once a year most of the staff used to go we used to call the annual training camp atc for about 3 days to 4 days and we used to enjoy we used to have halal fun we used to see to it that all the staff used to get up for tahajjud salah we used to get up for qiyamul lail we used to enjoy halal fun we used to have thrill rides and this is the policy so the thing is there that islam is not against fun but we should see to it that we should not break any of the teachings of quran and sahih hadith while enjoying hope that answers the question